Hello ladies and germs, I'm not sure what day it is and it really doesn't matter because, you know, time doesn't exist, only physical clocks do, so, anyways, I wanted to talk about a couple of things because I know, especially, that, um, disturbing thing that happened with those beautiful masters, you must understand that there is no time for sorrow, yes, it was hurtful, but we are warriors, okay? The young masters chose to come here at a certain time in order to be taken away. I'm not talking about sacrifice. They were chose here to be taken away to be used in the next couple of years in an angelic way. My heart and my love, everything goes out to the parents to family members, you guys get all my blessings, and those who see my videos are going to send you some more blessings as well. And don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure in the first two to three weeks you will see your son or daughter in your astral, and they will either tell you goodbye, or you guys will go on a nice little astral trip, which sometimes I do have, and they feel like three days when I really sleep for what, three, four, five hours? It's a very beautiful thing. So, we need to know that everything is perfect. These young masters left for a reason. Okay. Another thing too. You knew the dark forces were going to do something like this. I did. The day before it happened, I was walking outside having a smoke. And I felt, I felt like someone was like, man, these dark ones or whatever they are, they're just going to try to cause mayhem. For one, to bring up the fear energy. For number two, to disarm the, the United States so that we were totally vulnerable. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying guns is the answer. But right now, the human race is not spiritually activated to be protecting themselves from physical objects. So, again, take that into mind. I'm pretty sure maybe after the shift, the shift is already happening. So maybe after the, here's third and here's fourth and fifth. Maybe after it goes, and then goes, snap. That's when we're gonna be able to manifest quickly. We're gonna be able to feel gargantuanly. Not by having workers build for you, you build it out of thought. Manifestations to the greatest. Sacred geometry is where it's at. So, the young masters are fine. They're very blessed. And all of you family members who have lost the little ones, they are right next to you. Don't be afraid to talk. Don't think some don't have somebody think you're weird because you're talking to a deceased loved one. Because they never really left. Their physical body made it. But they did. Okay? So, another thing I really wanted to talk about is this music thing. Okay? You notice, I'm the same way. I listen to music to vent, to get out, to make to feel good, and to feel lovely. You know? To party. But what I've been noticing is that there's a lot of music out there that are being very dark. Okay, and to me, that's another form of sacred geometry. Synchronicity at its best. Now, especially with these dark ones, when you listen to them, whether you know it or not, you open yourself willingly so that these lower astral leaves can come and play. And I'm not talking, we're not talking about the play like, like play that we do on this planet. I'm talking about manipulating, getting you to do things that you're not supposed to do putting thought patterns in your head that are totally wrong and you know it's not you, okay? Be careful with the music you listen to. It is very demonic and they will grab you. And then again, what's the best way to disarm that? Whether it's not listening to it or whether it's just blasting love to it. And say, okay, you make decent music, but 
you put some dark shit into it, I'll respect you for the good music. Let's just leave it at that. Okay? A lot of land movement is going to be happening. Who cares what happens on the 21st? I don't. Okay? It's going to go back to our form of consciousness. It's going to go back to where we need to be. To where we're able to manifest. And become really just brilliant walking of light. You know the stories of seeing the halo around Jesus and around other higher masters? Well really, that's really the crown chakra just lighting up. Well, that's my theory. So, let's light our crown chakras up. And what's the best way to do it? Love, right? A lot of people are getting tired of hearing that. But it's the truth. Get over it. Get over it. What are you going to do? You're going to throw fire on fire? I don't think so. You spread love. Love as much as you can. You get these thought patterns in your head that are leading you that way other than love, you stop it because you have the power of doing that. It's a beautiful thing. So, sorry I'm a little slow right now. I actually made a video before this one which was impeccable, at least to me. But for some reason, it kind of failed. So, had yeah, a reason. But I know this message will get across. There's a lot of you masters out there who are ready and willing to help. You need to do this. No more for standing back. Fear, remember, fear does not exist. Love does. Love is the only thing that exists. It's the only true thing. And once you realize that, fear is just never no more. And you become that ultimate warrior. Okay? I'm not talking about physically, I'm talking about spiritually. Okay? So make sure you stay on point, make sure you stay in the love frequencies. Oh, I almost missed out on the Christmas part. Okay? We'll end it on a happy note. A lot of us, when we're around Christmas time, we like to call our relatives. We like to call our cousins, aunts, uncles. Grandpa, and some of them only call them once a year. But do you notice the vibration of happiness during Christmas? It is very high. So, why don't you call your family members every day and tell them you love them? Even the ones that maybe you guys have been having problems with, um, it doesn't matter. Because again, how can you lose from giving love? Unless they really think you're a sarcastic asshole. Which I don't think they will. That's on their karma, basically. It's just how you deal with it is your karma. So, spread love. You haven't talked to your cousin in a while? Call him, call her, tell him you love them. I miss you. You know, you have to do this. These are one of the ways we can spread love and as fast and as much as possible. All you light workers out there, you must stand your ground. I know I'm getting a little intense right now, but this is serious. This is very serious. These dark ones are very efficient, but then again, they're very clumsy. Very clumsy. And they have an ego like you wouldn't believe. So that's, that's usually what happens in the whole bully world. The bullies end up destroying themselves. And that's what I've been getting telepathically from the higher echelon who are panicking. Which is the ones between either who are they? Reptilian, Zeta Reticulin, and you got the echelon, and you got us. Okay? The echelon are panicking. Now, as if the reptilians and the, the um, Zeta Reticulins. They are going through a process of cleansing, but they will be eradicated. Most have already made their exodus. Don't ask me how I know, I just do. Okay, some of them have been left behind and I think that they are the peons. And they are very furious about that. More scared than furious because they know what's coming for them. And it's not death. 
It's just a change of their world, a change of their view on the universe, just like us. Just like a lot of us who don't, a lot of the people who are not aware, or consciously aware, who are afraid of aliens, who are afraid of ghosts, who are afraid of supernatural events. It's going to scare them. But to me, once the third and fourth and fifth dimensions, densities come together, everything is going to light up in a glow. Trees are going to, trees and plants are going to get beautiful harmonics. You're going to see fairies. You're going to see orbs. And know that they're here. The, the orbs, fairies, and all those, those beautiful, majestic creatures that we can't make out as a physical form. They are also here to learn, and they're having a blast learning from us, okay? And they love to dance around the ones who are very happy and bring happiness into this world. So keep doing so. Um, I will end this on this note and let you know that I do love you. I love you with all my heart. I haven't seen everybody's faces, but I have the ability to astral travel and I'll meet you there somewhere. I've done it plenty of times. Stay love, stay focused, no fear, no fear, no fear, no fear, and no fear, and no fear. You get that out. Get that out of your system. No doubt. You know what's good. Let's do this. Okay? I love you. God bless you. Indigo Prince out.